Hi. Uh, whoops, my hair. Uh, so, hey everyone, how are you all doing? So the full... The blood moon is tonight. I got word from my mom. And since I honor my mom, and it's I love honoring Mother Earth, she, I am honoring a woman there. Um, I, I, what I'd like to say, I'm honoring the divine feminine within me as well as the divine masculine, but I'm releasing that feminine energy out because right now is a time in the power of the masculine, but we have to have balance and that's what we, I just did. Um, so let me just get a little dinosaur and we'll be on our way, but hi everyone. How are you? This is cute. Um, I have the names and the numbers that you all gave to me. Uh, um... I have things figured out right now. I'm gonna do a little reading. We're gonna do a spell, a ritual. I've heard, I've heard, and I do believe this can be true, but I also believe much more. I have full on faith that magic is safe and it works. As long as you have good intentions, you'll be just fine. Uh, your spell won't backfire on you. Um, to me, a spell backfire, I've learned from experience, a spell only backfires because one, you did not have good intentions. You try to harm others, so it backfires and it hits you first. And it doesn't even hit them. It's like holding on to hot coal and swallowing the poison at the same time. Two birds with one stone, but you don't even get to the other person. You just kill yourself. It's a self-destruction mechanism. So forgive. All right, the first thing we have to start is a forgiveness meditation, okay? So, surround, ground, and shield. Before we get to the reading, and I will only use tarot cards and a crystal ball as we did today, this, this morning, I'd like to start by introducing to you my spell book. For anyone who, this is one that I made myself, I stapled it, I put it together, um, and on the back it says, the end, P.S., I love you. And that's what I want to tell you guys, I love you, so thank you. Um, Um, so hi everyone, good full moon, it's 525-2021 plus, I'm feeling a little angelic today, so I feel like giving away this gift a little early, and the angels work like that, they give away gifts really early, and they play with my hair a lot, so I think they want to floof it up instead of, you know, okay, so, let's get a little witchy today, let's get in the mood of the wind blowing to my face, <laughs> oh, <laughs> alright, not that much, not that much. Show off them curls. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, these staples are coming out, guys. Mm. But it's okay. So I made myself, I encourage you that you all always have a journal on you. So you can write. I made mine. This is my diary, but it's my book of spells, my book of shadows. So this is my third one. Um... I've actually made plenty more, but they were never complete and I never really got into it, um, into completing them. So it's only a book as if, if you complete them for me, as just for me. Um, I like to complete from front to back and everything in between because I love to read. I love books. Books are the best. This is what I'm telling you. This is the ritual that we're going to do. I want you. Let's do a library angel exercise. This is what I learned in my Wiccan teachings, okay? So I'm sharing something that's very special and important to me to you because this is something I always rely on. 
uh, when things get rough, when things get scary, this is what I go back to. Books. Go back to the books and start learning facts. Start learning imaginary things. Start learning and reading and absorbing and take it all in. Because it's there that you find out who you are at the soul level. You feed yourself with soul food when you read a book. It doesn't matter if it's crappy or not. The, the style of the book or anything. If it's a crappy book, if it's horrible information, if it's all hatred, and it doesn't matter, but your soul is being fed. It doesn't matter what kind of book you read. The Bible, I don't care, Satanism. Um, Trump's books on how to win over the country by stealing kids' babies' money and candy. You know, I don't care. It's, I know, really perverse, right? perverted and awful right there. But the truth of the matter of fact is that reading helps the soul grow. That's what I've learned. That's what I share to the world. Reading builds you up. Builds up your character. Reading books, writing, and recycling, saving the earth, doing good things in the world. Reading, writing, and being a good person. Uh, another R would be reading, writing, and instead of recycling, you can say recycling, but another way to say it would be word, please, Mr. T Rex. Roar, I love you. Just say I love you. Love is what everything <laughs> what makes the world go around. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So I have this set up right now. Look, earthquake, earthquake, volcanic eruption. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't know you can do that. <laughs> I got to know my camera now. Oh, thanks. <sighs> okay. So let me put them a little back here. He wants to be in the scene too much, I know. He's so freaking awesome. There is a tyrant lizard. This is a potosaurus. He's eating some leafies. This is a stegosaur. This is a little triceratops. She's so cute. <laughs> or a strikosaurus. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Strikoceratops. I don't know. It's a triceratops. But uh, I know there's not much here, but we're going to fill it up with cards. So we have the book here. This is my spell book. In here, I have some spells, maybe, but I do have positive affirmations. What do you think of them? I want to know your opinions. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of positive affirmations? How have they helped you? Have they hurt you? How, what were your experiences after doing them? Have you, have you given them thought at all? <laughs> Which is funny, it's positive thoughts. And it's weird to say that positive thinking can fix your problem. Just, just think positive. Just think beautiful thoughts, happy thoughts. You won't be sick anymore. Take a break. Go take a vacation. Think happy thoughts. Come back when you're ready. You know, that used to be the medicine back then. But it actually does have some truth in it. Okay? Positive affirmations have been proven scientifically to change the gray matter in your brain. And they are used for rehabilitation for people who have, long, who have gotten severe brain damage. Or large chunks, almost their whole brain is missing. Gone completely. Extinct. Like the dinos. They're gone. But when they use positive affirmations... And they, re and, and they use those positive thoughts, positive words, and they train themselves, and they train themselves, and they reaffirm themselves to do motor, motor to co combine their motor skills with positive actions, positive reinforcement, kind of like how you train a dog. You're training your body, your muscle memory, your spirit, your soul, your brain is being trained to work in a new way. Same thing that happens for people that lose a limb or a body part and they have to learn how to live a new way or when they lose a loved one. Or when they lose, uh, they lose a partner, or they lose uh, their home, their house, and they have to live a new way. Same, same thing happens to us. Okay, same exact things happens to us when we, when we decide to let go of that negative self belief and turn a new leaf, and we start believing in ourselves. Okay, so the whole point of this ritual is not to manifest something, a person into our lives, although that can result into it, and I promise it will result in it, someone or something is going to come into your life. Whether it's a human, an animal, a spirit guide, an angel, you might even have dreams from now on of the future, is what I see for most of you. You're going to start having dreams of the future, or in the form of deja vu, you just be like, I, oh my god, that guy was right. I, oh my god, I just saw the future, that was my gift, not him. I just want you to know you have all the power in the world, which is why I, I'm giving you the gift of magic. Whenever I do my readings and all my service, I always give the gift of magic to everyone and everything around me. That is what I'm here to do. That is my sole purpose, my sole truth. Magic. Okay? Magic. 
Mediumship can be considered as a woo-woo thing, as well as witchcraft. But just because you're a witch, or a Wiccan, or a pagan, doesn't mean you use magic. No, it doesn't. We And just because you're a medium, doesn't mean you talk to spirits. Sometimes you talk to angels. Sometimes you talk to ghosts. Sometimes you actually talk to demons, or whatever you believe in. Uh, extraterrestrials. Maybe you talk to God only. Maybe you do automatic writing. Maybe as a witch you do this and that. For me, I work with magic. My magic is gardening. So we have a beautiful garden set up right here. There's a little palm tree. There's a little grass. Here's our temple, our mini volcano, if you will, if you will. I just want to share with you some positive affirmations, okay? So let me just show you a little bit on the inside. I have a dragonfly, and it says, I am a healer. I am a healer. That is how I heal, with magic of gardening, okay? Gardening is so healing and healthy. I recommend this for you. Everyone out there, have, a, have at least one plant, one plant to grow. And if there's no possible way to grow a plant, if you think you suck at it, before you even start telling me shit about not being able to grow a plant, throw that idea out the window and start having a positive affirmation. Tell yourself one positive thing about yourself that you like about yourself or that you want to like about yourself or that you want to have in your life, even about you, but make it about you only and then expand. I want you to have the life that you want to live. I want you to have that magic ignite, that spark to finally go. Because right now, it's just a dead flame. It's there, but it's it's just not, there's no heat. It's ice cold. So it's time to spark it up and light the fire. So, it says, make your life a wish come true. Make a wish, guys. Even if that's your positive affirmation every day, Make a wish. And just know that every positive affirmation is a spell, is a wish. Every thought you make is a prayer. Every emotion you feel is an order, is a, is a request, is, a, is an invocation. Everything you do creates your future. What you do now is what will make your future reality. What you have done in the past is not defining who you are right now. You are you. You live in the now. You're not in the future. You're not in the past. You're here. You're now. Thank you for this grounding ritual. Okay? That was what we had to do. I had to calm you guys down. Too many people are crying on my videos, and that's not the intention. Please cry. Cry your heart out. I don't mind. But my intention is not to hurt you. It's to make you feel bad about the losses. I want you to heal. I want you to feel better. I want you to move on. Uh... Whether that means having talking to spirits forever or starting a new job or maybe revisiting the past and living in the past somewhere safe in a memory or in your old home and going back and making it cozy again. Whatever that type of empowerment is, whatever that happy life looks for you, that's what I want to do for you. I want to help you get there. I got there for myself. Now I'm able to help you. I'm here to help you. I hope this whole story that I've gone through, the whole Wicked Medium, has helped someone out somewhere. That's my intention. My pure intention really is, as long as one person feels better, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it's real or not, or if I'm bonko, or it doesn't matter what happens to me. I'll be fine in the Lord's hands. Um, I got my special place in heaven, and I know he's got one for me too. God, you know, the Lord. He's got a special place in heaven for me and a little seat for me to sit. That's my special, my little place, my little little seats down on my table to blow out the candles for a wish, you know, a little birthday cake, a little party, a little party. <sighs> Maybe this will be a very Merry Christmas after all. Um, Again, this is the dragon that I slayed. It was one of my spirit guides. Someone in a reading popped that out. This is what I wrote in my journal. These are diary entries. These are spell works. This is what worked in my life. So again, anyone can make a book of shadows. They're called BOS as well. They're called book of shadows because back in, during the witch craze, the witches, whoever used witchcraft, magic in any way or form, whatever it's called, whatever they used, they kept their information in a book. But they because they were kept secret, and I mean, they used to talk about it. They used to talk about it, but but then they had to start keeping it in books. Um, I don't. I'm not so. Sh I'm not history savvy on that. But, um, like a history buff, but, um, the thing is that because they were hidden, the information was hidden, whatever they learned from experience, and you, 
Witchcraft isn't really a, something that's passed down through a Bible or something, like a rule book. It just is, a lot of it's based on experience, personal experience through the present. And then you can pass it down to your family, to your covens, to your strangers, and they'll keep the tradition. And that's why sometimes it comes back to you, which is what happened to me. This past life came back to me. And I was like, oh, wait, 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 this is who I am now. Because I was like, ooh, that's interesting. How did that come back to me? Because like attracts like. And um, this is my ancient self coming through as well. This is to get in touch with our, our origin, our soul origin as well, this reading. This, I have no idea what I did here. I can't, I can't read upside down. I'm looking at the camera too. So let's get past this. Let's get past this. Who messaged me? Hello? Who messaged me? Whoever messaged me, please meet me here. There are some affirmations I have written down. A lot of them are for inner child work. Today, we are focusing on the inner child. I promise you, if you do inner child work, as long as you keep doing it, that's the only homework I'll give for you, for everyone, for free. Free homework. Who doesn't want homework? I love homework. I love doing... Who doesn't love homework? I love homework. Um... But inner child work, you might even get a new spirituality. Let me post something I just saw on Facebook. All right, something, someone just responded to me. Let's see. Oh, it's Marina. Let's see if this works. Sweaty Marina. Myself, the more capable I am, I become of loving others. I love myself so much. That's what I learned from Marina the most. The more that if I love myself, including my inner child, which I do, I become more lovable. I, I, I'm more than capable of loving others. I am that love that people need and want. I am that person. I, if you love yourself, I'll give you the secret. Love yourself. That is a secret and key to life. That's it. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I hope Marina joins us. At least, at least someone joins us. Whew. Um, I'm not going to start without anyone, okay? So we're just going to be here. And I'm gonna continue talking, okay? I'm gonna shuffle my cards as well to get to get us to get the energy going. Um, I love myself. I love who I am. So let's continue talking. So, um, how has everyone been with the full moon? Let me know, guys. Oh, and by the way, the quote that I have here says, the early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Okay, there's a story behind this. <laughs> um, a long time ago when I was in therapy was in Phenomenal Love by Don Mantine. I know, I know. We had our... Are kind of fell apart there um, between my me and them you know their services uh, I just couldn't afford it uh, it just wasn't working out it just wasn't working it wasn't gonna work out but it, it was meant to happen that way I just feel it was divinely supported by the forces of the universe like of lights of love the crystal kingdom I was like th this is transpiring into a beautiful composed music like 
I've never seen something like this in my life. Um, but the thing is, this may not be very funny for you, but it was hilarious to me. The woman, the damn woman, the freaking therapist and healer, crystal healer, she would freaking grab a cart and she put cheese, little bits of cheese with sticks in them, little neat, little toothpicks, and with a drink of water and you pour it in right next to the bathroom. And I was like, won't the rats get in? And I was like, why did I say that? Why did I think that that was so weird? I hated myself for saying that so badly. I want to throw myself out the window. I'm like, she's had it with me. She's going to throw me out. She hates the, my guts. L lo and behold, she yelled at me for saying, for telling my abusers in there, and I want to be your friend. Because I was frozen in fear. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> and she yelled at me saying, how could you say such a thing? That's so mean. And it took me a while. And I was like, wait a minute. And then I got a reading. Fast forward to 2021 I got a reading from someone that looked just like her daughter on reddit and she, she said something that her grandfather said and it was the answer to my prayers and I was like it's that was a blessing in disguise but I was like it's it's seren it's serendipity okay um basically the early bird did get the worm all right and that's what happened to me the early people, uh, the people who were there first, Liz and Grace, they got the juices. They got the worm right out of me. It's like, ooh, we caught a worm, and they ran away with it. But it was a second mouse that got the cheese. Guess which mouse I was. He's number one. He's number one. He's number one. I wasn't that mouse. No. I was the second mouse that got the cheese. Cheese, you're on camera. Hello. <laughs> um, smile. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> uh, the second mouse got the cheese because I learned my lesson. That's what the quote means to me. Basically, the quote says. The early bird, the bird that woke up early, the first, is the one that gets the only worm that comes out in the spring. When that first worm comes out, the first bird that wakes up and is like, okay, I got this. They snatch the opportunity. They see the opportunity, they're like, oh, thank God, it was made for hunting. They grab that worm, eat it up, and it's all theirs, and they leave satisfied. But they're only satisfied for a day, for a moment. And then they move on, and they do the same thing over and over again. But it's hard work. It's hard work. And then comes the first mouse that watched carefully and was all like, I'll do the same thing and that's what I'll get the I'll get the best thing ever. That was also me in the past. That was right after right at the therapy. I was like, I'll be the first one to join, I'll be the first one to do everything here, I'll be the first one to peel. <laughs> and it, it it didn't work out that way. I got caught. <laughs> Um, no, I did not cheat. No, that's not what happened. I got caught up in a wrong, in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, I was the right person, yes. I'm a mouse and I eat cheese. Perfect plan and everything to feel better and get out, it was a, get out of my way and feel better in life. But everything fell down on me. It was total destruction. And I'll let you know, this is where it makes sense. And it falls right into the whole blood moon flower moon thing because it's an eclipse the energy of the eclipse of a blood full moon which is a flower moon is actually renewal rebirth it's all about destruction death chaos cheating lying storms thieves um evil it's because people who saw eclipses in the past used to identify them as evil but they're actually not that's where you start thinking, is this a blessing in disguise? And then it turned out I was a mouse that got caught in the wrong place in the wrong time. I got caught, I was put into a trap and they trapped me and they attacked me. And so I was hurt. But then I turned, I, I died, meta, meta, uh, spiritually, uh, metaphorically, no, figuratively, I died. And I turned out to be the second mouse. Kind of like how a cat has nine lives, and that's where the witchcraft comes in. 
that's where the new Michael comes in. I just got Taylor Swift lyrics on my head, so like, oh my god, this guy's following me? Like, no, I'm not following you. I I'm Swifty, but I'm not stalking you. I'm not reading your mind, and I'm totally not copying you. So don't worry about your original ideas. Throw that out the window. Um, I'm not yourself. <laughs> throw, the, throw that paranoia out the window, and that's what I learned. I learned to just be comfortable in my own skin and trust myself and be myself. Just let it out. And the people who do get me will love me for who I am. It's a hard lesson that I learned a long time ago, but it had to be learned more and deeply applied now. Whoops. Yeah. And so the second mouse, that was the true me. The false me was not the bird. That was not me at all. This first mouse, definitely not me. I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the idiot who actually got trapped. It's the other guys. The bad guys got trapped and they got put to jail. Justice hasn't served. The police already went. Um, at least they came to me and I'm pretty sure they did. That karma. It's karma. It's karma for trying to be the early bird and doing the same ass thing. Same ass thing that just hurt other people. But the second mouse, that's the one that was observing. That's the one that was meditating. That's the one that did their job. And that's the one that said, you know what? Let me look at the trap again. I looked at the trap and I learned my lesson. If I am a bird, which I'm not, I'm not a bird at all, then I can get the worm early so if I did what the bird does, I'll just go and get it, get the cheese to get out, right? First one, first in. That's the only way to do it. Whoever gets the uh, finders keeper loses weeper. But there's a trap. There's a catch. Catch 22. Um, it's, it's a trap. You try to get it. You step on that little booby trap. Boom. You're the one that dies. And so... Well, the the reason why I and so really I was I was actually the second mouse so there was a plot twist there aha they got caught um so the second mouse was sitting there quietly observing. The second mouse was quietly observing and that mouse learned a lesson it said if the first mouse gets it if someone gets it they're the ones who die they're the ones who get caught but that's what they get that's their karma for trying to copy a bird and trying to be so opportunistic opportunistic and capitalism capitalism it just came to my mind uh, I, I don't know how that has to tie into this, but uh, it might resonate for someone out there. But um, but I watched, I stood, and I observed. And when the moment was right, after the, the trap was set down, whatever was in there got caught, took it out, I went in for the cheese, and I got it now. Um, and the, 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 moral, the moral of the story is... Always be yourself. Be a truthful, kind person, and watch out, guy. There's a new guy in town. It really means, honestly, you know what? Let me get a positive information. I think that'll clear things up. Anyone is just fine. This one. I am good enough. Wow, a paperclip fell down. It really is that I am good enough. Um, because. Uh, I don't have to try to be a bird. I don't have to try to be the first one. I don't have to be first place. I don't have to be anything. I don't have to try to impress. I don't have to do anything. Just be myself. Um, and if I be myself, hold on, I'm going to have to get a video here. Sorry if this isn't making sense, but it makes sense to me. I'll simplify. I'll make, I'll keep it simple, sweetheart, okay? Oh my god, I just heard myself. 
Um, here you go. Because sometimes it's okay to be a loser. Sometimes it's, it's okay to come in last place. And sometimes, let's, let's, let's just dive it up a little bit. Plot twist! <laughs> um, you know, I never really done a true plot twist, but here we go. Um, hey Marina. Welcome. Um, hey, uh, you can go back right after this, but this is the this is what I have to say. This may come off a little like a sign or something for you, but if it does, I hope it really connects the dots for you, okay? Because I, I think I know how to do this now. <sighs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, simply put. There is nothing better in life than the satisfaction you feel of helping others out of the kindness of your own heart. I'm that kind, good witch. Uh, the, the, you know, that everyone that categorizes the bad guy, the outcast, the awful person. Hi, Marina. Let's see, let's see. So, Basically what I'm saying, be the better person. Be the good person. Okay? Always be the good person. Always be the better person. It's not about, stay humble. But it's not about trying to, not humble in the, humble in the more spiritual aspect, in the religious view. Humble in the fact that you're like, it's okay. It's okay. You can have it instead. You can have this. Helping others. Exactly. You couldn't have said it better myself. Marina, you got the grand prize. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, oh, Marina, by the way, uh, pick a number between 1 and 300. Read my mind, okay? I picked a number already. So remember, it's always about giving back to the universe, okay? What the universe gives back to you, give back in thanks, and she will return the favor. Always in gratitude, say thank you. So thank you. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, my friends and fans. Thank you, my family. And thank you, thank you, thank you, goddess, for your magic. And thank you, Mother Earth and the universe. Thank you so much for everything. Let's begin a reading. Um, so basically, Marina, okay, you picked two numbers. Um, I'm going to pick the left one, okay? 249. All right? I hope you're okay with that. All right, the votes are in. This is the final call. This is the final call. If anyone wants to put in a number, I will be announcing the winner at the end of the video. But this is the final call, guys. Start putting out your numbers and th there will be a giveaway. Whoever gets the number closest to the number that I thought of, um, that um, whoever guesses the number correct, like correct or close to it, will get a free mediumship reading, a free space clearing, and gifts, a love spell, a love spell with a sleep spell, mixed with a sleep spell and a nightmare remedy, um, and a free scarf, <laughs> and a hot plate, you know, the Palladians do. Oh, there's the plot twist, Palladian blue, okay. Um, by the way, Marina, your spirit guide is a Palladian spirit guide. She's a she's a female. She's a twin sister. Okay, she was your twin sister in a past life. She was your twin sister in the last past life. You were Palladian. There we go. That's why you're a healer and a telepath. I was like, something makes sense here. Yeah, Marina, that's why your name is Marina. The color blue of the ocean. Because the Pleiades is the color blue. So are the people who live there. They're blue-skinned humanoid aliens, okay? So there you go, President Biden. We got aliens on planet Earth. It's Marina. <laughs> and me. And me. So we got two people. So again, Marina, when you go back on the video, I want you to know that everything's just fine. We did a grounding exercise. 
if you need more grounding, I will place this here. I'll place this right here for you. Okay? Uh, I went through my spell book. I always recommend everyone to start reading books to advance their spiritual growth as well as personal development in life. And to write, write, write. No matter what you write, just write. Just write it down. Any thought that comes to your mind, whatever it is, just write it down. Color it. Make it pretty. Get creative. But write. And also, love. Rawr. Rawr and dinosaur means I love you. So I love you, Marina. Thank you for taking me back in. I just wanted to surprise you with something. You know, I kind of, I don't want to give everything away. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. You know, you know, you know, yeah. Just put this here then. So, um, do you remember the dinosaurs? Ta-da, surprise, Marina. They came back. The dinosaurs are back from the dead. There's an article online, actually. I love you too, Marina. Thank you so much. Um, there's an article I read online that some scientists, like Elon Musk's scientists, they are bragging that they can actually sort of make dinosaurs come back to life now. Kind of like in Jurassic Park. And I'm like, uh-uh, shut your fuck up. Don't do that. You're going to kill us all. We just had the virus. What are you doing to us? Haven't you watched Jurassic Park? Does anyone learn their lesson? <laughs> Obviously not. We have the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> and did they not read... I know, I love dinosaurs too. Did they not read the book by Michael Crichton? Um, the one about the, the little tiny... Um, um, the little tiny technology things that it's like a... Vi if it's a false virus, and but it's so tiny, it spreads everywhere and it flies in the air. It literally flies and has a mind of its own. Like it's a machine. It's a little technology like computer chips, but it enters your mind and it mind controls you and it kills you from the inside out. And it spreads everywhere. You have to stay you have to stay isolated inside a house in the middle of a desert. The story is crazy, scary, mind fuck. It's amazing. It's a thriller, mind thriller. It's it's amazing. It's an it totally should be a movie, but it turned out to be real life for us, except it's not a machine. I hope to God not, and I hope the scientists never do that. I don't believe in conspiracy theories. So for sure it was just an accident. Uh, that someone ate a bat or something. Some Something happened like that. It wasn't like the scientists were doing it. I really think it was just, you know, normal. It just happens. Viruses happen. Pandemics happen. It's not like, it's not the first time we've had a major wipeout or a major virus. Like, we had the flu. We had polio. We had the Spanish flu, actually. The Spanish influenza, that was a big one. We had, um... So many others. So what's to freak out about? There's no evil forces here. It's all love and light. And I think the angels are here. Because Archangel Raphael is a color green. He really put down the grass. He's like... Oh. This is where it gets interesting. This is the lesson I learned. From what I did today. Yeah, shadow work. I recommend everyone does shadow work at some point in their life. And really get into a deep, deep shadow work. And rise out like the sun. Okay? I want you to know that the grass is always greener on the other side. Amen to that. Um, so, let's get started with this reading, okay? So, Goddess, and a little overview. We're going to do a full moon reading, okay? We're going to do something about that shadow aspect. We're going to dive deep into our secrets. Dive deep into the secrets. Into the mystery. This is a mystery reading. Every full moon, I celebrate by doing a reading and a giveaway, okay? That's how I do it here on Facebook and on YouTube. I do a reading and a giveaway and a ritual. A little grounding meditation just for you guys in whichever way form it, it works for you. But the more we do these readings, the more it progresses into something more spiritual based, spiritually based instead of just about the free gifts and the free money and free things, okay? But your wish will be fulfilled. You will still get something out of it. I promise, okay? Yes, okay, so this is your reading, all right? Good thing we called you, right? You know, they say, they say, God always has a divine plan for everyone. So, I believe in that totally, full-heartedly. Um, I believe in my goddess. She's, she's totally got it down for me. Thanks, goddess. You're welcome, babe. So, let's get this card down. And today, we are not reading reversals. Let's give us over a little challenge. We have the Page of Wands. That's the energy we walked into. Something new. 
all right page of wands is all about someone giving you a message and it's a male it's a male a man that is gonna give you a message okay be aware of that there is a man that is gonna give you a message real soon anytime between now and the end of the full moon which will be around the time of next week will be the end of the energies okay that will give you enough time to work through and to heal after we do this reading this is a free healing as well for those who accept it you get it if your higher self says yes go ahead and accept it but all you gotta do is let the energy flow to you let the magic flow to you and you'll be just fine so let's see okay Alright. <laughs> so cute little tail. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Thank you, Marina. Alright, I see that there's a chariot coming towards you. Is there a man in your life that's very important? I see a man in your life coming to you selling, saying, hey, I'm your boyfriend. Here you go. Here's the message. Here's some help. Um, you have a boyfriend right now. This may not resonate to you, Marina, or anyone else watching, but it resonates to some people, specifically people who have a boyfriend. And this man is a brand new man. Whether he, it doesn't matter whether he's in your life for a long time or not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he's a brand new man. Okay? He's he's telling, he says in his head, in his head, I'm a brand new man. And he's all like, I want to say I'm a brand new me by Alicia Keys. But he is saying I'm a brand new man because I respect the woman. I respect the female figure in my life. She is powerful. He is totally about worshiping the femininity. A close friend. That is so cute, Marina. Thank you. Tell us all about it. <laughs> tell us your personal life. Let's tell you. Listen, show me your secrets. So this is what the mystery is behind it. Let's find out what the mystery has for us. What secrets, what truths, you know, truths. What lies beyond the depths of the mystery of the shadows? Because once it comes out, it's not that scary anymore. I'm going to put these cards down, all right? And there we go. I'm going to put this, pull this up a little bit. Right there. Oops. They're all really reversed. And then I just flip it up and it's like, oh my god. So I guess I have to shuffle again. One more card. A close friend. All right, this may not make sense right now, but I, I promise it will. The message will come out to you. Okay. All right, so, okay, let me just get a, a feel for this. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um... It seems like everything's been going downhill for you ever since we last met or ever since you saw um, this man, okay? Either it's the last time you saw any of my videos or it's the last, uh, since the last time you saw my videos or since you talked to this man. Um, or an authority, someone with masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man, it can be someone with authority. It's very general right now. This is a general reading, but this is a specific type of general reading. So, this is totally um healing the trauma of your shadow self so that you turn the darkness into light and you can be the this is the image i want you to know that you should keep with you forever um you were thrown into the wolves and you came out the leader of the pack is what i'm hearing that's what i see in my mind and that's what the shadow your shadow self has to tell you you turned out to be the strong one on top you, and i see a raccoon someone was hiding secrets from you weren't they um, they were hiding something. They were hiding. So, just know, someone cut you loose right into a trap. Okay? And, um, so, oh, I'm missing a card. I'll pull that out as, as the last card. Um, as a result. As a, Possible future, possible outcome. There's a possible outcome, and it's up to you what you do on your healing journey, okay? But I always say act in accord. That'll make the magic work. That'll make the healing happen. 
because you can you can get as many readings as you want but these just remain as beautiful 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 card work readings designs and everything beautiful words and messages but they will just remain as that and rot away if you don't do something about it okay it's up to you whether you was you do something about it in your life there is guidance there are messages and there is truth behind every single card and within every single lesson and person and plant and thing that you meet in your life and if you use it instead of just looking at it if you use it and you don't have to pick a flower you don't have to use them manipulate them you don't have to hurt people all you have to do is talk just talk communicate talk to yourself right now i want you right now to start talking to your soul because right here it says you lost a connection to your soul your true self your true identity it might be a person that you lost it might be a job or maybe you traveled away from home and you got lost in the way. But it seems like there's someone. It's like heaven gave you an opportunity to learn. It's almost, You feel like the universe went against you or something. And you're like, holy shit. What did you just do to me, God? I hate you. But you, you came out victorious. I, it's like night and day. One day you were sad and depressed. The next day you're like, hallelujah. It's over. And then came this. I want you to know. Where is it? There it is. As the victory happens, you're going to take out, you have to take out all the backstabbing and give it to Mother Earth and she will heal it for you. All right. And the healing comes right after. I need you to focus on making a wish right now because we have the wish card, the star right here. And, um... If there is something on your mind, please release it. Release it. Release it now. In the form of a song or creativity. Okay? There's a lot of creative energy in this reading. Um, also, I see that there's something ancient from the past that just came up to you. Is there something from the past that just came back to you? Uh, it may be me, Marina, or it may be someone else. There's something from the past that came back, something haunting, some or just something extinct, totally dead, something that just didn't occur anymore. It just, it just, it was just dead, gone, over with, punto, gone. But it came back, came back from the dead. You're like, oh shit, that's like a zombie that came back from the dead. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That that type of coming back from the dead, like something came back to you, for the better, or for the worse. But it brought out the worst in you. It brought not, I, mean, I don't want to say it in a bad way, but. It brought out the, your, your, yourself, the pieces of yourself that you thought you lost. The pieces of yourself that you thought you could bury away in shame. The shame, the sadness, the hurt, the fears, everything that you shied away from. Everything you said, I'm just going to walk away and not pay attention to this problem. No, it came back to you because you have to face it. You have to face yourself. This is who you're going to be, right? You have to make your own self. You have to make yourself happy in life. If you can't be happy with your own self, how are you going to be happy in the rest of your life? The rest of your life isn't around the person listening to them talk and they're always making you happy. No. The rest of your life is whatever you make it to be. The rest of your life is you. It's all with you. You're the only thinker of your own mind. So why not take the opportunity to change the shadow and the darkness in your mind and your emotion and your soul and your, your habits and turn it into something beautiful. Channel out that pain. Take that darkness and turn it into light. Turn it into healing. Give it to others. Give it to yourself. Fill up your cup and fill up others as well. Because blessed be on that one. That was holy goddess. Oh my gosh. She just gave you a gift. Um, she gave you the gift of clairvoyance. You may have been stuck in your mind. It's maybe very foggy. Like brain fog. Maybe lots of mood swings recently because of the full moon. Maybe there's been a lot of cheating. Maybe you've been the one who's been doing a lot of bad things. But uh, it's time to get out of that darkness. It's time to become whole. It's time to forgive. It's time to make amends. It's time to end things. It's time for an ending and for a new beginning. All right? Because tomorrow is the day of Begin Again. I just got the song. My favorite song ever is Begin Again by Taylor Swift. I'm not going to lie. It's my favorite song. Um, I don't care. if It's a number five. It's the number five of this year, 2021, which is a begin again. So, let's go back to this man. This dude may be the one that's from your ancient past life, your very first incarnation. 
which is maybe when you were an angel, maybe they were your guardian angel, maybe this was your soul tribe, maybe this is your soul family, your soulmate, your twin flame, maybe this is the person who was your father or your mother or your baby or your daughter or your teacher or your worst enemy, the one who killed you in your first lifetime, and maybe someone paying back karma for you. It may be someone who is just giving you a gift. It may be someone, but it's definitely someone you met in your first lifetime. The, the, when your soul was created and the first lifetime you had, they have come back from the dead back to you. And it may have been actually that you came to them. They just appeared. They were there. But when the student, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And that's what happened. Um, so... This is when that male figure has starts teaching you a lesson and you start applying it into your life and start seeing for yourself who you really are, what you're made out of. This is when you start rising from the ashes and turning into a beautiful phoenix. The phoenix is one of my spirit guides. Um, start coloring. I, ha I have a special message for someone. Start coloring, start drawing, start making art, start doing paintings, start playing with clay, clay models, dioramas, playing with toys, um, painting hair sticks, painting uh, lots of arts and crafts. Don't stop the art music and keep on keeping on. There is something in you that is ready to give life to. You're about to enter a new part of your life that is so beautiful, it's unbelievable. Now let me give you a card. And this is a possible outcome. Reunion. Reunion. Healing. The lion is out of its cage and I hear it roaring. You're ready to come out of the cage. I want to let you know. There was no cage. It was a mouse. Little mice. Let me take myself out of that analogy. That analogy, the little comparison symbol with the, with the, the the second mouse gets the cheese. I'm not actually the mouse. I'm just Michael Jose Zavala, a healer, um, a reader, uh, a person, a human being. I'm a good person. Uh, I'm a man. Um, but you were afraid of something that was an illusion. You thought something so small can get to you and can beat you up. You were afraid of a mouse, a little mice. But it's time to release those phobias and heal. Those phobias are so deeply ingrained into your system, into your blood cell, into your genetics. It's old, it died out, it doesn't make sense. It's it's no longer, it's not relevant. It's just not relevant. So I don't wanna keep going further with those problems. We dove deep enough. I want you, this is the healing work you must do because this is a possible result. Reunion, twin flame, marriage. Marriage, emotional fulfillment, balance of the emotions, all imbalances are gone. Thank you, Marina. You're a great person too, and I'm so glad you found a healer. I'm so great because this is what it is. Healing, divine union, and healing of the heart and wounds that you have on yourself. Um, think of this as a tower moment right here. This is a tower moment. Think Because these dinosaurs died out as tower moments. And just remember, with each ending comes a new beginning. For some of you out there, there's a strong, for most of you in this reading, you're actually a medium. And that is how you heal. It's either time, it's, you were, you're the wounded soldier. I don't believe it's a leap of faith anymore, but you're the wounded soldier. And it's time to move on to the very last step, which is the crystal ball. Um, let me move this card. Okay. Let me just cleanse it. Turn myself to a different point.
You're about to dust off your wings and fly. You're an earth angel. I think I said this to so, so many people before. You're an earth angel. You're an earth angel. You're an earth angel. You are the light in people's lives. You are the light. You are a healer. You are a shaker of the world. You demand respect. You demand courage. You demand bravery. And you demand that the kindness that you give out come back to you in return. Because if not, you're not coming back. When you leave people's lives, it's like they lost a part of themselves. They lost the best part of their lives. And whenever you come back, it is such... It's taken in great, great deal of respect and gratitude. Everything that you gave out comes back to you in return, always. But just know, this can be a double-edged sword. Because all the harm that you give out comes back to you immediately. All the good that you give out comes back to you immediately. Always in an energetic way. It's a very heavily energetic way. So if, you, if you've if you been giving out, even, even if you're just having a bad day, it comes back to you times 10. And you're like, oh my god, did I deserve that? No, you don't. You don't. It's just your energy. It's just your energy. Learn to control your energy, and you learn to control your life. You control yourself. You control the way people, not how people react, but you can influence them. You have a very special, for some of you, you have a rare gift of telekinesis. Um, for others, mind control, um, although I don't believe in it exactly that way. In the way that people think like in the movies it's actually more of influencing it's like sending energy to others sending a thought and it's like kind of like programming them with a positive affirmation just like that but you're planting so you're like planting a seed basically you're a person like you I, I i look at the people who are watching this reading i look at you as a gardener uh, or a crystal healer a rock think of it as a rock garden you put your rocks in their place, you put your little dinos, or you can think of it as little dinosaurs. You put them here, you put them there, and then you play a little game, or you just heal it. You're like, this tree belongs here, and, uh, as, and then you're live plants, and as soon as it grows, you move here, you put little live animals, or your toys. Basically, you're the caregiver of life. You're the nurturer. You're the... You're the healer. You're the mother figure. You're the embodiment of true power. I, Mother Gaia, Gaia, Mother Earth. She was your. She is your power totem. Your power animal. She is your spirit guide. She's your. The Blessed Mother Mary may be very big on your life right now, or has always been, but now is the time that she is coming out with a miracle for you. And that miracle is you. You're the one who's gonna make bring the miracle. It's inside of you already. That seed has been planted because you planted it in others. Every time you plant a seed in someone else, it is planted inside of you. And that seed is a seed of potential. That seed is a seed of a promise. And promises are meant, meant to be kept. So when you promise someone a good life, you're giving yourself back that same promise. I'm getting a good life. But it's up to you whether you keep that seed, you nurture it, you grow it, or you throw it out. Okay? And you start over again with a new garden plot, with a new set of dinosaurs, with new animals. If they die out, that's okay. It's a cycle of life. So it's time to let go of the past. So, um, I recommend cord cutting rituals. Um, cord cutting. If you know what that means, you'll know. If you have black obsidian, use that to cut the cords and ties. But I recommend that you burn a candle right now. There is a lot of heavy energy coming out of you from your steep within your soul from an ancient past life. Get a white candle, light it safe in a safe place, not nowhere flammable, um, where, where there's nothing flammable. Light it, carve, carve a name of an angel or something on there, or pray. Call your angels in, ask them to clear the space with the, with the flame with the white light flame of the white white light flame okay and i want you to just start considering new things in your you lost me you didn't lose me i've always been here <laughs> i'm be i'm here i'm here you didn't lose me don't worry about it do you see what just happened marina all the past shames burdens guilts and denial 
have just come out of you. That sadness isn't you. That, that loss that you're feeling, that's not your loss and it's not my loss either. It was a win-win situation. Do you understand what I mean? Let me, let me put it this way. Um, um, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm just going to tell you the facts, okay? Um, it's time to face reality. In truth, the ones who truly love you Oh, wow, that's what you meant. Wow, we hit a tough spot then. I went somewhere else. All right. Well, let me go on with this, okay? Because it might resonate with you or with someone else. But when, when, uh, when you lose someone in your life, think of it as a gain. You gain something in life, okay? In the end, it's all about finding yourself. And that will mean everything to you. Um, and you never know, someone might actually come back and you turn around and you're like, you were always there with me. I'm sorry, I thought, I thought you were gone. And that person might just be you. It might be someone else. It might be a hidden part of you, like an emotional aspect of you that was lost. It may be a dream that you thought was gone forever. But it just stood there, standing on the beach, looking out to the asteroid coming forward. And you said, turn around because it's time to go. And that's it. So I, it was ridiculous how that happened. That's a major, ser another serendipitous, serendipitous, serendipitous event. So I hope that made sense to you, Marina. It's almost like a blessing in disguise. It's a little change in life. Change of perspective. It's like watching things from high above. Pretend this is the asteroid. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. This is Mexico. Boosh. Boosh. And it goes everywhere. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm okay. I'm cool. And so is this little guy. All right. But um, it's a lesson learned. It's a lesson learned. The ones who really do love you will be there for you. And they'll be there. And they'll stay with you. And they'll look for you. And they'll adore you. They'll adore the fuck out of you. They'll be there for you. They'll come back to you. They'll love you for you. But you don't have to wait around for them. You don't have to wait around for them. Because maybe if you maybe if you stop worrying a little and start loving a little and start being happy a little, maybe things will make sense again. And maybe like, oh... I don't think it's best to worry about people when they feel bad. I think it's best to give them some love, send them some light and energy. And Marina, that's what you did for me and everyone else. So thank you, Marina, for being the greatest healer I've ever met. Okay, my first client, the actual healer, the actual medium. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, I know I have that gift too. I'm like that too. But it's a gift of magic that I'm giving you for everyone else out there. So I want to end this reading on a good note. Okay. There it is. The, I heard a, a cell phone just ding. Okay. I'm going to pull out one affirmation. Just for you guys. Okay. I want you to do this with me as well. We're going to do the library angel exercise. The library angel is uh, not a, it's not a literal angel. You're the angel. Okay. Which is why I say you're an earth angel. This is my gift to you. It's a divination technique. And it's a special gift that not everyone has. Because not everyone has a book. But at least everyone has something to sort through in their lives. So go to your nearest bookshelf. Close your eyes. Ask a question. Point your finger around while you're asking. And when you feel intuitively to stop. Or just stop randomly. Wherever you want to. Stop. Open your eyes, grab the book, put the book down, close your eyes again, start flipping through the pages. Okay, so my question will be, what is the best way to heal myself? Uh, what, is, what is going to happen to me right now at this very moment? And um, whenever you feel ready, stop 
and then close your eyes. Keep look at have the the page looking at you. And when you open your eyes, the first word that you see will be the answer. Read the whole paragraph, read the whole sentence. That'll be the answer to your question. And then dissect it, okay? Think of yourself as a hawk, okay? So, I love and approve of myself. I am embracing my sexuality. I'm gay, all right? So to me, that means what's gonna happen right now, I'm gonna get a new relationship. Right this moment, right this second, I'm gonna have a new man in my life. <sighs> because I, I learned to love myself. And now I can give love to others. And I'm ready, I'm ready, I want that. So there is a new romance in my life coming soon to me. And I accept that, that is a little prediction of the future. Um, I also just got the song, a moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. Well, I want a special kiss. Oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. Okay, I'm done playing around. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Some people search forever for that one special kiss. Okay, so I don't know. That song just made me. That song just made me cry when I saw it on American Idol. I was like, oh, she won. I won too for some reason. <laughs> and I was like, I feel her as being an empath right there. <laughs> when she cries, I cry. <laughs> um. So that's it for the reading. Sing it. Some people wait a lifetime for that one special kiss. Oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Could this be the greatest love of all? I want to know that you will catch me when I fall. So let me tell you this. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Oh, like this. I can get ignored like that, can you? Quest not. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I just felt like in the mood, <laughs> like singing. <laughs> um, so, we have a winner, okay? Somebody just won, okay? So I'm announcing the winner now, and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 20, 40, 28 hours, 28, 48 hours to respond, okay? All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna email you too if uh, but um, it might be a big list. But let's see. The number, my the lucky number was actually three. Oh, <gasps> everyone chose a number that is in the hundreds, except for one person. Actually, two people. Um, my mistake, my bad. Uh, okay. So. Prize number one goes to person number three, Navisha D. Her number was 50. That's the closest number. Uh, let me check, double check. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six, 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 six. Yes, that's the closest number we have. So for in first place, let me write this down in my special book. Whatever write goes down in here is permanent, for that matter. First place winner is Navisha, and we're gonna have five places here, okay? But Navisha D, okay? You are the grand winner, grand prize winner of the giveaway. So thank you for joining in our in my little giveaway, my first giveaway of the full moon. And um, you just won yourself a free love spell, a free. Um, it's all about self love. My love spells are a lot about self love, so don't worry, it's safe. 
and it's because it's crystals. So you can use the crystals however you want. No hard feelings, there's still room for other people to win. And don't worry, everyone's a winner <laughs> in my in my, <laughs> in my uh, giveaways. So second place, second place is Jasmine Rose, okay, with the number 50. Okay, so this was, uh, what was it, 50? Oh, it was the number 64, my mistake. Oh, why am I keep making the mistakes? 64. Third place. Let me cross this out. Navisha is gone. Jasmine is gone. So the next bidding number is on the back. Lewis Coin. She's another per another client of mine. You won a third place with the number 104. Fourth place. And we have only uh, nine nine people who who joins, so it's up to five. This is a lot of winners. <laughs> Everyone wins something, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna let you go with some without something. Um, okay, I'm not. Le there's no place for losing here. It's a win-win situation, all right, for everyone. It's just that some get something else than the others, all right. Everyone gets something out of this, plus a free reading and a little shadow work, some cutting cords and ties, a little grounding spell work. Um, fourth place, actually. Let's see, 104. Lose point. Fourth place, and I'm gonna put it in order. The first five get the get the actual prize that I'm actually looking at. Um, 137, 137 is the next prize. Marina, okay, you're actually 249, so 137 won next for fourth place. Who is that? That's Lisa, Lisa, Michelle. One thirty seven, okay. Okay, fifth place will be two forty nine, two fifty nine, two fifty. Marina. Marina, you're fifth place. Lucky number five. That's actually my lucky number as long as as well as lucky number three. So Marina. You got fifth place now. I hope you're happy because this place is a very lucky one. Two forty nine. All right. Thank you for joining, Marina, and for joining the reading. Sixth place. We only have these guys left. Um. So we're at two forty nine. Uh, two fifty. Mona. Mona came in. 250 at sixth place in seventh place I know it's just taking a while next time is different because <laughs> we have little people okay you know sing it for the little people yeah um <laughs> in seventh place we have Nathaniel Salidas I hope I pronounced that correctly, guys, all your names. I'm sorry if I butchered it. You at the number 259 at 8th place. Um, let me cross that out. 8th place, we have Brianna Stevens. And that nice, nice place. And last but not least, Natalie. Oh, Natalie Tram. Oh, how I love Natalie Tram. I miss Community Channel. That was a good place. All right, so we have it. Let me tell you in order. In order. We have, right here as proof, the giveaway. Lucky number three. In first place, Navisha D. If you see your name here, please come to me. E give me an email or a message. 
All right, second place, Jasmine Rose at 64. She got 50. 64. Tell me if I make a mistake, ja uh, Marina. At third place, Louise Coyne, please. 104. At fourth place, Lisa at 137. Marina at fifth place, 249. Mona at sixth place at 250. Nathaniel, seventh place at 259. Brianna at eighth place, 277. And Natalie at ninth place at 300. Okay? So, how was that? How was that? Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? Let me tell you what we're gonna do. Let me start putting away the toys. Um, I don't even have a hair toy right now. But it's okay. A hair toy basically is a hair stick. Whatever you put in your hair that you can like put your hair up with. You know, whatever you put in your hair, it can be a toy. Because it's a toy for your hair. Your hair can play with it while it grows. <laughs> basically your hair is your baby. Oh, how cute. Yeah, my hair grew long. Look. Uh oh, what the hell was that? Oh, chat hair. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so, Seatbelt time. Let's go. Chimmy, 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 chimmy. So I want you to. Sh I want to show you. Oh, that hurt me. <laughs> Sorry. So giveaway. So first prize. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the good job. Good job, you guys. You guys had so much fun with this. Day. I hope you had as much fun as I did. This was amazing. I have so much energy right now. I exercise today. Um. So, Navisha, this is a grand prize. Mother, unbelievable, holy gold, bro. Bro, oh, that's nice. <laughs> 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 Anyways. <laughs> this is your prize, okay? This is the love spell. Inside of it, you have one free magical spell bottle. And you can empty it out and fill it up with whatever you want and redo it. But you can also seal it with candle wax on top. I will leave instructions on my website later on how to do that. And uh, we have many crystals. We have a pendulum. We have another pendulum, but it's actually a necklace. And uh, I go through my videos. Thank you, Marina. And we also have this amethyst. Isn't it pretty? Look at that. Ooh, sparklies. <laughs> I've also tried putting crystals in my hair. <laughs> my favorites. It sizzles with the glue on the wool. Hard. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here you go. This is an amethyst. Her name, the name of this one is, uh, you know what? She's starting to let it go. But I used, I named her um, Brandy. Her name was Brandy. I also will leave instructions on how to make a flower essence on my website. Get ready for that flower magic because it's a flower moon. I will do that tonight and by tomorrow, I want you, this is your only thing that I will, I ask for you. Even if you don't do the positive affirmation. Thank you. <laughs> you always said that Marina. You made me feel better about my laugh. Thank you. Um, tomorrow, I want you, or by tonight, if you can tonight, Gather some flowers. Any flower will do. Preferably something that's not too toxic, okay? But any flower will do. It's harmless when you do it this method. Completely harmless. Um, if you have roses, perfect. 
If you have marigolds, perfect. Daisies, whatever type of flower you have. It has to be a living organism. A living flower, creature, organism. It's a living being. You need real flowers for this medicine, okay? Um, or if you have rose quartz, make rose water with the full moon. But it will be very diluted because of the energy of rose quartz is very gentle. But when you have it, if you can, if you can, you can put rose quartz and a flower, which is actually more potent because of how dilute the rose quartz energy is. It is powerful. It's so subtle though, and the subtlety of the flower essence is so subtle when you. But it's very strong and potent. So when you dilute it together, the key ingredient in every single healing, the more this is the key of. Rule of thumb, if you dilute anything, if you dilute the solution into a tiny amount, into little droplets, mixed with the carrier, like a carrier oil, it is the most powerful effect on you. It, in layman terms, in English, less is more. That works perfectly. And that's how magic works as well. You don't need a hundred spells a day to make your dream come true or say a hundred affirmations forever. It just works because you are constantly manifesting and creating magic. Okay, that's just how the universe works. Um, woo, that felt funny. Let me get up. Love is love. Where is it? Love is love. So, oh, and by the way, you also get a free scarf. I, I will wash everything. Don't worry. I'll clean everything. There is some dust on this, so I will clean it. I'll leave it out in the full moon tonight, okay? In my bedroom, though. Not a... In my bedroom. I'm not going to let anything get stolen again. Uh, this is your gift. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to make sure it gets to you. Just just know there may be some delays depending where you're from. So if, uh, Navisha, if you're from out of the country, there may be some delays due to the coronavirus. Or just because that's just how it's going, you know, I don't know exactly how, but how it's working. That's all I have to say. Um, but just uh, email me, or I'll have to email you. And uh, you, if you're if you're open to giving me your address, then that's the only way you're gonna get your gift. If not, uh, it will it will go to the next the next person on the list, which will be Jasmine Rose. And again, if no one responds, it will go to the next person on the list as well. Okay, so Marina, you might actually win. Marina, by the way, I'm not leaving you empty-handed. I still have all your stuff. I have your books. I have your crystals. Um, what else? I was going to give you a lot of stuff, wasn't I? Um, I'm giving you your crystals, okay? Don't worry about it. I'm giving you... I, I don't even know if I was going to give you tarot cards. I forgot. You remind me, okay? I, we'll look through my crystals. I'll, I'll be with you on the phone. We'll do a little reading. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. I'll call you. And um, we'll look through my stuff, and I'm, I, I have your book, uh, uh, Good Grief. No, it's not Good Grief. It's that one. Um, it's that book. I'll give it to you. Don't worry about it. For free, signed by Teresa Caputo, that one book. I forgot what it's called. Good Grief is the green one. This is called Good Morning. There we go. It's called Good Morning. Um, so good morning, Marina. Maybe you just woke up right now. But it's signed. It's actually officially signed, originally signed by, by the famous celebrity psychic medium, Teresa Caputo. Teresa Caputo, and um, she signed it. I got the book, and her healer is my healer. So you got to know a famous person indirectly. Well, I'm the famous person, so that you love me more. <laughs> no, we all love Teresa. We all love Kim. We all love Pat. Okay, we love Michael. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love myself. That's more than enough love for me. Ah, don't worry. And sometimes you just get to laugh at yourself because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just won the grand prize too. <laughs> it's all mine. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not stealing. <laughs> need a tarot reading okay um i um i do free readings now from let me send you my website again i'm gonna send the website one more time 
Uh oh, what'd I do? Um. Anyways. Go on there, send me a message at that email, and we'll set it up. It'll be over Zoom, the, the reading. It will be recorded, and um, let me tell you something else. This is what the first prize winner gets. You get your romance, romance spell package. And one hour mediumship reading over Zoom recorded as a gift to you, the reading for free. And you also get one more thing. Um, what was it? Oh my God, I forgot. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Oh my god, I forgot. I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's not important anymore. You know what? I'll just give you two things right there. Second prize winner and third prize winner both get a 30 minute reading. 30 minute tarot reading. Any subject, uh, minus a few things. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> As for the rest of fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth, one, two, three, four, five, six. For the rest of you, everyone from place number four to place number nine, fourth place to ninth place. All right. Um, last but not least, guys, fourth place to, to ninth place, you're actually gonna get the actual prize. Um, just off the top of my head. Yeah, um, you get to be my friend. <laughs> be with me only. No, I'm just kidding. Ugh. Who need of me? <laughs> it's a gift, actually, that you're my friend, that I'm your friend. Because I'm actually that special. I'm a power bottom. Power bottom. <laughs> Four to ninth place. <laughs> This is what I'll give you. I'm thinking of classes. Actually, let me leave it up to you guys. We'll leave it up to Marina. Marina? <laughs> Marina, what do you think is actually something good to give away for fourth to ninth place? It's a free for all right here. It's up to Marina. For whoever watched the video, they get the prime choice. Okay? It can be to your benefit. Or to benefit or to both. Um, what do you say? What? A book or gems? All right, Marina. A book or gems? Um, I'll give you both. And a Reiki attunement, okay? I am still a Reiki healer. Um, so I hope this helps. That'll be the healing, okay? 
Yes, all three Reiki attunements for free. Okay? No charge. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So that's six books. Angel reading or romance? How about, oh, you know what? You're right. You're right. Let me take that off. Angel reading. An angel reading and gems. All right. Romance and gems. Romance reading. All right. And I'll add in some uh, Reiki attunement, okay? With a grand total of Freedom Las Vegas. Okay, you got a grand total of freedom. Okay. Um, should I do? I, I'm really itching. I, my heart says do angel readings, but I feel like the romance is what you guys want. Um, a book is great, um, uh, but I just I don't think I have enough books for that. Uh, I have a lot, but I don't think I have enough books. Okay, so anyways, thank you, Ma. Um, a romance reading plus gems and Reiki attunements. Reiki levels 1, 2, and 3, which is uh, Reiki, you're going to be a Reiki master and teacher, okay? But it's up to you to start the healing, just like we said in the reading, okay? That is the actual goal, because just like I said, some the... Now it makes sense. Plot twist, even more. Um, this is where you land. Um, the early bird gets the worm. That is Navisha. But it's the second mouse. Not the second place and third place. They get the mini tower ring, which is good. Totally fine. Um, but it's the second mouse that gets the cheese. They get the healing. Um, first place, it's a love spell. And it's crystals and a reading. Um, it's a love spell and a reading to connect with your loved ones and to hopefully heal from the loss of your loved ones. Second place is a tarot reading. You just get insights and guidance on how you live your life and how to make things better for yourself. And it's free will, your choice. Um, but for third place, you get a romance reading, a love reading, plus crystals and Reiki attunements. The reason why it's a, I see third place as a little more, I'm not favoring anyone here. It's because my tarot readings, I value my work. My work, my services, my gifts, I am worthy. And so are these readings. So is this information I give out. So are the messages from spirit. But the, all the hard work and energy and effort that I put into it means something. And they mean different things for different people and everyone's affected in a different way because everyone heals and grieves in their own way. Everyone learns and grows in their own time and place. But the end result is always the same. You are a beautiful being of light that has grown and matured into a beautiful blooming flower in the middle of the night. Of the darkness of the cold dead of winter at midnight. The darkest hour of, of the night. Um, so as a final word... Expect something to happen by Christmas Day, okay? This is your Christmas in summer, okay? This is your 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 summer Christmas gift, okay? Think of it that way, early Christmas. Um, so that is it for the reading. I hope everyone enjoyed this. I'm gonna post this on face on on YouTube, and uh, I this is originally recorded on Facebook, which is why you can see everything normal, and I. hope hope everyone is okay now and everything's fine um worth everyone please let me know what you think of the reading and don't forget to comment like and subscribe follow me on facebook um uh what's it called be my friend on facebook uh, i haven't made a, a, a page but i'm not sure if i even want to um i might as well so i'll do that and uh join my coven as well i have a coven it's a witch it's a witch's coven wiccan coven um, if you if you are into Wicca or you're new to it or you're curious, go right on ahead. I invite people to just come in and just uh, if if you're gonna be there just to step in, to dip your toes in the water. I ask that you participate just a little bit. All right. 
All right, thank you, Marina. Again, my my one card. Okay, I'm gonna say it out here for my tarot reading, just to let you know, Marina, and for maybe someone will benefit from this. I do one card readings, um, just one card pulls, for one for a donation fee. Okay, just for a donation fee. I, all I ask is just for your donation, whatever price you want for one card. That's it. Um, but uh, but but it has to go through PayPal. Okay, strictly PayPal. Okay. Um, that's how I make. Pay that's why I get my payments. That's why I make pay get payments through uh, my website. I also want you to know that um, I also do other types of tarot spreads. Yeah, there you go. You can also get a three card reading for ten dollars. And past, present, future. It, it can be a general reading, or if you want something more specific, we can dive right into uh, a question. There you go. Thank you, Marina, for having PayPal. It's a lot of time um you know and then i have bigger readings where it's like uh getting like what we did right now this was like a free sample a little peek in the future a little sneak peek of what's going to happen if you get a bigger reading um it'll be one-on-one -on -one, of course or you can bring a friend it depends on what type of reading we do we can also do there's going to be love readings future self readings we're going to have readings for um soulmate readings oh, can i say that already soulmate readings twin flame meetings uh healing the past healing the wounds and he goes uh so many different things on there different types of reading for tarot and different psychic readings different services are going to be offered on my website so please 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 tell your friends about my website my services and my youtube channel like comment subscribe and my facebook is right here um uh, my name is michael jose zavala aka known as draco Antares, and uh I am the Wicked Medium, so thank you for coming. I love you all. Let somebody be blessed. Be good night, everyone. Happy blood, blood flower moon. Okay, enjoy. Peace.